really excel in today. Melvin Gordon starts as the lone back, and the top rushing attack in the country gets going on their first play with six yards before Jamie Bird, the junior out of Florida, makes the tackle on Melvin Gordon. Time Only two with their hand down for the Bulls on D. They rush four. McAvoy's well protected. Will throw on the run, and he's got an open man over the middle. Jordan Frederick for a first down to the 43-yard line. Jamie Bird delivered a blow, and Frederick as a running quarterback allows the defense to, to really freeze they weren't able to pick up backside and that was a good job of eye discipline down the field by Tanner keeping his eyes locked in on receivers and finding a big play in high school here's Gordon off the tackles and he works to the six picks up five there so they can get a first down at the one they need the 15 yard line to keep the drive alive Pressure off the edge. McAvoy cannot get away from Rashard Client. It's a loss of 10 on the sack. And it takes him potentially out of field goal range. It looks like it will. And what a stand by the Bulls defense after the interception thrown by White. The Bulls are just tearing him up on the, on the line of scrimmage just around the corner. That's a great job by the linebacker Client to get leverage on the outside. The season average is closer to eight yards per carry. So off play action, McAvoy's look good throwing the ball. He'll take a shot for Erickson, but it was underthrown. It'll bring up second down. By the way, as we first down from the 43. And Gordon, no room in the backfield. He'll end up losing two yards as Nigel Harris finished off the sixth tackle for loss today for the South Florida Bulls. But He's got time, and it's incomplete. Deflected away again by Johnny Ward as Erickson was the intended target, but we'll have to check the penalty marker that was thrown from the near sideline. Can't happen. He's on the bottom of the screen here, and it's good pressure in the pocket, but again, Tanner keeps the play alive. Just on the back, back shirt of Erickson, it looked like there. It's a big man. Clement the, is in the game as well. Gordon gets the play fake. And a long throw by McAvoy is complete to the 32-yard line. Erickson dives the second half. Well, it looked like Whitehurst was going to get to the quarterback. I thought there was a hold by Trailer, the tight end, down at the bottom of the screen. But in any event, Tanner's able to buy time again in the pocket, step up and find a receiver in Alex Erickson. But it's a two-score lead after this snap. Clements. Trying to power forward, and the Bulls come away with a big stop right at the goal line. Ramon Swain, a backup linebacker. His nickname is Rock. He was very much a rock on defense there, and the field goal unit is going to come out. What an important stop. A throw on second down, and Erickson diving to try to make the catch. Pressure came in immediately on... Joel Stavi in this situation, the better throwing quarterback, but it's up to McAvoy to try to make a play here. Well, Clyatt does a nice job of getting in the sight line of McAvoy, and he had a... Here's Gordon trying to get to the outside, and a stiff arm against Godwin gets him out of bounds after about an eight-yard run, including what he did last season. Clements. Makes one cut, then goes north and south, and he's into South Florida territory. And just as important, it looks like Joel's doing fine off the field, too. Right. You know, which is a... I'm throwing an interception today. McAvoy to throw again. He'll throw to the sideline for Kenzel Doe. First catch of the season, and he's got nine yards out of it, dragged down by Clyde. This is a senior who's done well in terms of pass catching in his career. That's his first catch in four games this year. If Wisconsin, the adjustments and provided plenty of running room for the Heisman hopeful. Clement has the first down to midfield. Here's a look at our good hands play. It's brought to you by Allstate.